never got any response uh, from the government. They've even offered us like 30 bags to work with the police, and I turned it down, yeah, because the integrity in my community is very important. That's, there's nothing I care about more than integrity. Nothing. So when I had the debate with Lynn May, um, the 14th of my Patreon, she asked me uh, why I wouldn't work with police and why I turned down £30,000 from the police. So I want everyone to read the article about the young girl who was strip searched while on her period and embarrassed because they smelled cannabis. I thought stop and search was about knife crime. I thought stop and search was about knife crime. And she didn't even have no cannabis, yeah? So this is what I'm saying, yeah? They're lucky about working police. They're lucky I'm not physically fighting them when they do stuff like this. But that's why we got Police to Police Global, because those officers' names, badge numbers and stations should be documented and we should know who they are. We have two choices. We can stop complaining or we can hold them accountable. Police to Police. Fuck it up. You know what it is, though? Every time they see Easy or Rassy on, on, on the channel, though, it's saying deep, in it? Come on. You know what I mean? It's saying something happens, something, something's going on. And it's a ride out as well, yeah. It's just oh, a yeah, 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 It's always yeah, a step out. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm mean? saying? Yeah. As the step out. Yeah, boy. You know what I mean, fam? They yeah, were changing this whole blog activism thing. It's not staying online anymore. Like, it's outside. They're pushing a new, a new, a new thing, innit? It? It's, it's not even a new thing. It's pushing a, I don't know. What, what, what would you call it? Call it, call it, call it, call it. Is it a new regiment? Yeah. That, 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 that. Yeah. Anyone and everyone should be jumping on. Facts. Facts. You know? So the and, blueprint. And, and anything that happens, we're, produ we're providing tangible solutions to whatever the issue was. So we're just oh, talking yeah. and talking about the situation. If the young girl, young girl, school girl Q, had been given a police to police global workshop, as soon as those police came, she would have had the information that would have stopped them from doing that to her. Do you know what I'm saying? Mad. Example being. By the time she takes, she would know to stay calm, take out her phone, ask the officers their names, their badge numbers, what stations they come from, you know what I'm saying? And their reasonable grounds for the search in the first place, let alone a strip search. Do you know what I'm saying? And she would have that information on record. Do you know what I'm saying? That's which, facts. Which in most cases would have stopped the police from even going forward with the search. Yeah, definitely stop them going forward with a strip search. And even if it didn't stop them, she would have had tangible evidence. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of what happened. So that's yeah. facts. But before, for for the people that don't, don't know what we're talking about yeah. and what's going on, you know. Yeah, let's give them the the breakdown. Of Slow down. So basically, um, a young girl go by, goes by the name of Schoolgirl Q because we're keeping her an anonymity. Yeah, making sure that she, uh, her identity stays private. Um, police was called to her school. Uh, one of the teachers uh, thought she smelled cannabis on her. Um, and there was a complete failure to safeguard. They called the police. The police came to the school. She was then searched for cannabis and no cannabis was found. Yeah, now I don't even think uh, when we're looking at safeguarding and the, the role that the schools are meant to play if she was um, smelling like cannabis and they think she had cannabis the first call of contact should have been to a parent okay. or an appropriate adult do you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, when you have underage children that even are smoking cannabis there's normally either a lack of they're normally either going behind their parents back or there's a lack of guidance or there may be levels of depression and things that cause that young child to be engaging in cannabis. So for you to criminalize, especially a child that you smell cannabis on, for me, that's not the approach that we should take from the beginning. But anyway, mm. they've called, do you get it? Mm. It should be a, why, it should be a question of why do we think this person's using cannabis? And is there any way that we can support them or where, their man. parents to, stop using yeah the cannabis exactly um yeah, but know. anyway they've called the police um the police have come they've searched her and no cannabis has been found well remember the um the thing as well oh well, well oh, regardless sorry. regardless but i don't know um she was on her period as well yes you know um yes. and 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 they and they carried on with the 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 search 
And like you said before, that there was no cons um there was, there was no there was no um consent from the parents. No consent from the parents. No appropriate adult. And you're not actually allowed to strip search someone under the age without an appropriate adult. That's a fact. Um, that's a fact. And and yeah, that's a fact. Because so even cause even back in the day, it was the same thing. They had to call my mumsy, and and and, then, and my mumsy have to be um in the station why they do it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's back in the day though. So I'm thinking, but then I'm thinking, what? You come in, today, that's mad. Just to even think about it, yeah? Adults coming into secondary school and strip searching little kids for weed. For weed. Because I'm sure this whole stop and search thing meant to be about knife crime easy. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this situation showed us that it's not about knife crime. It's about finding ways in which they can criminalise children. Specifically in this case, and in many cases, young black children. Because the report that came back as to why she was stopped and searched and strip searched was something called adult adultification bias. Okay. Yeah, adultification bias yeah. is when adults think that young black children are older okay. because they're more streetwise. Okay. So they're basically saying <laughs> that because she's a little bit because she's mature and she might and she might um, carry herself in a certain way. Yeah. They they thought to treat her like an adult while she's in her school uniform. Grab my man. Boy, it's too late now. Yeah. I didn't even know that we were gonna slap. Yeah, I didn't even know. But, um, yeah, so identification bias, because remember, this is actually a concept. So this plays out in the police. Like okay. we were saying the other day in the car, I posted a video. Yeah, yeah. It plays out in the schools. Yep. Oh, yeah, see. 100. It plays 100. out in the police. Yep. Yeah, treating young black children. Um, even like young boys, the six officers will try to beat my up. Like little 13 year old, 14 year old, six and big men, adult officers. Using um tools as well, truncheons or whatever yeah. weapon that they have on their waist. Spray man in the face with gas and that. A young 13 year old boy, you see loads of footage, you know? Big men, you know, that can't even take down a little 14 year old and then they, they need seven men on him. Cause like we all been through it. I know you probably been through it. I've been been me through it. You got about seven officers on one leg seven. trying to trying to sweep you over, yeah. one trying to choke you out, yeah. and they're weak as fuck. You see what I'm saying? And then and it goes back to um what a lot of people say about half of these rejects because the, the officers are, 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 are school rejects <laughs> yeah it goes back Facts. yeah it's trauma that because it, yeah it's their trauma yeah, it's, yeah. it's their trauma how they used to get violated yeah. and bullied up in school they were like like, like, like they get a, a uniform a body of armor and now they want to enforce this power on yeah. people Facts. and abuse their power Facts. because it, most people that are, are bullies was bullied first yeah yeah bullying is a Facts. learned behavior Facts. Um, yeah. I think that's why a lot of us, man, we're not bullies because we never let anyone bully us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So, the, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but like you said, it's true as well because even then, though, when man was very young, there was older G's, you know, that that that, that, that took advantage, you see? It? Yeah. And right. when you're small, you have to just soak it up. But yeah. then when you get bigger, that's when you, you know, yeah. you can get into it. Yeah. Right. Is, it, right. is it this one, though? I don't know. It's, yeah, it's happening, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to go for it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so. Regard, yeah, so basically both ways I can relate to. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. And, it, and, and it's disgusting behaviour. Oh, and you know what, half of these officers as well, where do they come from? They don't come from the community. They don't come from the community. They don't come from their ends. They come from way out, way, way out. out. And it's not even a white team because there's white men that live in the end that move different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah, are yeah. next guys. Even some of the black guys. Yeah. Their man, they are coming like the doctor that was on the uh, show the other day saying they're scared of <laughs> man. What doctor? They're bad lip, remember? What doctor? The doctor in the um, BBC thing that was saying that we look intimidated. Oh, that? Oh, he's a doctor, yeah? Yeah, he's a doctor. I didn't even know that, yeah, boy. He's a doctor, you get me? So, man, they're saying that man look intimidated. Yeah, yeah. so that's, them black man there come from Sheffield. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Way out. Cornwall. Yeah, yeah. Their yeah. man come from little villages where they're the only black man in the village. They never seen so, a group of black people walking on road. Yeah, so they join the police force specifically mm. to prove to feds that they're not like us. Mm. So sometimes they go harder than the racist ones because they're trying to prove themselves. So they've come in to the school. They've searched the girl. They haven't found no cannabis. They, sh I don't even think the school should have called the police. She should have been searched inside school without appropriate adult. But they've gone the further to strip search her. 
Now, when they strip searched her, she's told them, I'm on my period. Wow. Can I go to the toilet? They wow. did not allow her to go to the wow. toilet. Yeah. Then they told her to squat while no, she was lying. naked. You're lying. Yeah. Oh. You're lying. You're lying. Oh, it's mad because it's mad. This one's mad. This one, like, this one will yeah. actually, yeah. like, you know where man just want to do something that ain't speaking? Like, a man's got to control myself because. I'm just picturing my daughter or my little sister. I would have gone and I don't know what I would have done in this situation. But I would have told been... her to squat while Ooh. she's on her period. Yeah, she's naked, squatting in front it. of two adults when she shouldn't Allow even it. be yeah. naked. Yeah. And they're telling her to cough. Wow. Yeah. Jail flex. While she's on her period. Jail flex. And after all that, they did not find any cannabis. Anything. And the police took two years to issue clear. her an apology. Wow. Two years. Two so years. Ain't, so ain't even a, what, what? the officers who done it mm. still are working and still able to abuse more children. So, so when did this happen? Yeah, this happened in 2020. What? They kept it covered up. I remember. And like, you know what? Yeah, salute to the person yeah that I messaged back yeah on Instagram when 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 um um it was it was, it was a little bit weird to me. Had like they they put out the article and then give up no details. There was no details of the police station. There was no details of anything, you know. Because we know how police do when it comes to criminals, yeah. yeah. They expose their name, their address, everything. everything. Mugshot, everything. Mug shot everything. But when it comes to these officers, you don't even have the police station. You don't even have the um 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 the school. None of that. So I was thinking that's a bit weird. There, I'm thinking that what did the officers pay off the the mums or something like? I was thinking it's a little bit because something's going on. You know? Yeah. And then I was just thinking, because I thought it was the, I never knew it was two years, brother. So why so what? So only two years now they 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 they, they, they issue out an apology. Two years, but they tried to cover it up completely. Remember Diane Abbott is the uh, member of parliament for that area. Diane okay. Abbott didn't even know that it happened. Wow. You, Remember okay. it's twenty twenty, so these times Black Lives Matter is oh, mad. Shit. These times forever family is forming. Mm. Yeah, Mother. so they must have been looking at it like, yo, if we expose this now, Stoke New and police station might not be there anymore. The school, the, the, the school, the police station, but I don't know what the protest would have done. Remember the, the yeah, energy yeah, yeah. of that time, mm. put in a case like the this, that, yeah, yeah, it wow. would have been crazy. So, what they've done is they've held it back from us for two years, yeah, and they've had to release. A report on it because they have to and basically the report has made it blow up do you know what i'm saying and what was said in the report and the whole case um but i think a lot of the time with these cases a lot of people talk online but they don't really have any connect to the family and they might do yeah. things to jeopardize the case yeah so, yeah yeah so the main thing i've done is just make sure i get contact with the family um yeah they made a squat they made a cough um, completely humiliated her. Two years um, it take it take for a fucking apology, you know. For an apology, bro. So when was this um um this um protest in school? The protest in the school was yesterday. When yesterday, I went down yeah. There and today. Today. Today's so, one. So so big one. So we have to talk about that because the kids are not having it. Yeah, the kids, kids are protesting in schools. Yeah. Come on. This is a bunch. No, a bunch. They, a school full of kids. Yeah. That even that knows. That this is shouldn't be tolerated. Yeah, they're protesting. They're out there in the schools, and they're and 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 they're moving, and they're moving how they should do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and really, uh, you know, the kids are to me, to me, my personal opi opinion, that the adults should be doing ten times more. You right. know, right. ten times more. I'm, I'm I'm seeing footage of kids doing what they should be doing, mm -hmm. outraged, mm -hmm. making noise. Whatever, and I haven't heard nothing from adults. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, and I've been saying that. Uh, uh, it seems that now, but I see it on the head. But there was more outrage for the kicking of the cat. I don't, even, I don't know. <laughs> there was more media outrage from the kicking, kicking of, of the, the cat, cat, bro. Yeah, mad. Than the strip. What Zizi Mills talk? Is she talk about it? Yeah, yeah she spoke on it. Still. Okay, I okay. The tig. Okay, I didn't even. Boy, I read the tig. Still, boy. she spoke on it. She spoke on it, you get me? Um, yeah man, salute. Salute to everyone or anyone 
that has spoken Guy up and Abbott upon spoke this. up, ZZ Mill spoke up, Forever Family done a little thread of all the people, Black British Parent, okay. um, Black Child Agenda, okay. United Salute. Borders, Salute. The Voice, Salute. Newspaper, Salute. you know what I'm saying, so Salute. There's, there's a one thing about this case is it has brought a lot of unity to yeah. different parts of the community okay and we're all speaking in one voice that this will not be tolerated okay um, okay this is how it should be a positive that's come out of the negative you could say but like the young girl she's been reclusive since yep um self-harm wow depressed wow yeah wow. she's never been the same since this is a type of effect that happens when 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 this type of this is what that's the thing because when it's sexual when, abuse, of course and when police are involved doing this yeah it seems like it's like people don't you like they're like police are human beings you know you know they ain't got no some some high some some highest type of specimen in their genetics where they should be treated differently you know if anything bro they should be held to a higher level of accountability because they are getting paid yeah maybe your average person if he punches you in the face or or does something he ain't getting paid to look after you blood yeah 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 and when police do something they get away with it but i'm like how can you get away with it yeah. you should be held to a higher level than everyone else because you're being paid yeah to protect and serve people yeah. and you're abusing your power yeah so if a normal person kills me then that's one thing in it of course but if a police officer kills me he yeah. should lose his job yeah he should be prosecuted yeah. and he should he should face a higher sentence than the average person why because he has a duty of care over everyone protect the public and serve. you know what i'm saying this is the oath that he has made so this 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 thing where police do things and get away with it or get lighter uh, punishments mm. than, than civilians yeah. just doesn't make sense to yeah, me at all. Yeah. They're putting them on a um um higher um horse, you know? Yeah. On a pedal stool. Yeah. Like they're some sup supreme being or something. Yeah. And half of them are rejects, school high high school rejects, you know? Facts. Big high school rejects. So it's, it's it's you know, but that's why you didn't really want to talk too much. I might there's a lot of things going on in the background as well. Ambulance moving mud. But yeah, so definitely, man. So we're on that. We're on the way to see what's going on with the um the station at the moment. You know? yeah, we're on the way to the protest now. Protest going on outside um Stoke Newington police station. You know, so we're there. We're there. You know what I'm saying? About like ten minutes till we till we pull up. Oh come on alarm man. Look, poor poor everything's out boy. Nice shi shiny day though. Look, red one. Sirens everywhere. And it's going jumma. I uh, salute all, salute to all the people that speak out upon this man because it needs to be spoken about. Yeah, 100%. and then you know, and then we can, and 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 then salute to people, all the all the steppers as well. Are actually gonna be out on the field instead of you know what I mean. Well, with both, I salute to anyone that's made that effort, regardless how small, how big, you know. Salute to you. Something. There's not there, there's not enough people that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm making efforts, man. I remember for two years this young girl's voice has been taken away. You know what I'm saying? And each single one of us has the opportunity to be her voice. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because her voice was not only taken away from the sense that it hasn't been spoken about for two years, but it's taken away from the point that she's going through so much trauma, she might not be able to articulate. Yeah and yeah. speak out in the way that her heart wants to because it's a trauma even right now us all bringing it back up yeah she's going through stuff yeah but now she's reliving the traumatic experience yeah yeah do you know what i'm saying yeah. that's what um the the legal team was telling me they was telling me she's reliving the experience so just please make sure that you yeah emphasize to everyone pr to protect her privacy yeah do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This is why I haven't really put out too much information. Yeah. Because I've got a lot of information. Yeah. But some of the information that I have might just infringe on her privacy. Yeah. So I'm kind of holding it to myself. But there's so much more, man. There's like a next girl who uh, teachers looked up her skirt. 
goes to the same school. Wow. Um, or go on in the school, boy. They, what, this, this, this school needs to be fixed up. The, on the school's website, they basically um, took down all of the safeguarding um, teachers' names, but we've still got a copy of it. Um, like, there's a this is a, a massive cover up, and from the looks of it, from Diane Abbott didn't know. It seems like the cover up's coming from right at the top. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So nothing new there in it the government there the police there met you know they, they, they will do it within their powers it happens in every type of field it happens in construction fields that's why i know like things get covered up you know yeah. i think i think anything that can drop i'm just using an example because i know how it is it's any field something drops from the fucking building sites not someone in the head everyone's trying to cover it up yeah pass on the blame you know and that's how it goes Every field is like the same, you know. Out of 25 stop and searches, yeah, um, 88 percent of them, the police. What at the school? Where, where the school? No, just strip searches in the in, area. In in, in Hackney, was, yeah. Yeah. Out of, out of 25 of them, 88 percent of them, the feds found nothing. Nothing. 80 percent of them resulted in no further action. Now remember what we said earlier, yeah. What are the grounds for a strip search? The grounds for a strip search is that you see someone concealing something, yeah? So if 88% of them have come mm. back with nothing, nothing, that means that the, the people wasn't seen concealing anything, which means there wasn't even grounds for a strip search, which means every single one of them, that there wasn't grounds for a strip search, is sexual abuse and sexual yeah. assault. Wow. Imagine if I went to a woman and I took her to one corner and I made her strip yeah, down yeah. and squat yeah. and cough. Yeah, and claim and claim she got a bloody oh, I'm, I'm, I'm knife or something on her and she ain't got nothing. You, you, you just now see her whole fucking body. You violated her whole her whole oh. body. It's mad. It's mad. It is crazy, man. Like, you know? It reminds me of slavery, bro. Like, it literally reminds me of stuff that like slaves go through. Like you ain't got no power. No power. Like, you're yeah. getting stripped down. What's going on? Kids, children. Yeah, nah, it's another level, man. I don't know who, but when was when when has this been a a, a thing where um police can come into schools and then bloody sh I'm well, search I'm, and search I've when, never when, heard of it before, but yeah. I remember back in the day. But I can't remember because you know what? School, police school, police schools. No, police in schools. Well, it's it's a new thing. Yeah. You know, because they weren't in my schools, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even when madness was going on, but it I was think these police were called from the station. Oh, okay, so it's even more. Different. I don't think it's because there's certain schools that have like metal detectors and that. residential police, yeah. Like when we got the Dun Raven thing in South London, they've got an officer that is like residential at that school, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these officers were actually called from Stoke Newington Police Station, and they perform, um, and yeah, and that's been happening from our time because when I was in like year seven or eight, there was one paedophile and man must have bought a bore and whatever happened happened you get me um but then some next you snitched that that i went out to do the thing you get me and yeah. i had a bore on me so when i got back to the school feds were there and obviously they searched my bag and searched me for a bore okay you know what i'm saying okay um but they didn't strip search me yeah do you get yeah. me that's a bore yeah there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a knife that they've I've been linked someone someone has slipped so I, even they had reasonable grounds because someone said that I had a knife on me. Yeah. So like Yeah man. That's why police the police global. Follow that on Instagram. Yeah. Learn. Learn learn the 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 learn the, the law codes, you know? That's why police the police Police to police, was it? Police to police global is so important. So relevant to the youth and so relevant for adults. Because adults don't even know they're right. So when the young youth are going through these violations, they think it's a normal thing. Yes, yeah. A lot and they don't and a, they don't want to bite big, back. Yeah. That's a big point you got there, bro. Like goofy. 80% of adults, their children will tell them they've been abused by police and they'll justify it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that. Yeah, man. Huh? Where are you? We're on the way, we're about four minutes away. I'm here. If you send me your address where you park, I'll come back here and I need to fold the scooter a bit away. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. When we get there, yeah. I might even bring up. I might even bring. Um, where are you gonna put you? Do you know where where that's gonna put? No, we're just gonna get there. Let's, let us get there. I don't know what's about. The road, the road, yeah, the road's cut off though. You okay. Get okay. 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 The police are blocking the roads, yeah? Give us five minutes. Yeah, you can Okay, alright, cool. Yeah, no worries, yeah. No problem. Cool. Alright, family, so as you just heard, we're 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 here and we're right there. So we need to find a way to park. We need to park here. But yeah, so that's what it is, boy. You see more footage. Easy and rest, yeah. Oh yeah, and please to police global. Go check that out. Look that um make sure you lock in with the Instagram and respect rebellion and then more footage later. Peace, 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 peace. peace. Yup, yup, we're here, we're here. Oh my god, I can't recognize you. <laughs> Yo! Off one! It's going on, brother? You good, yeah? What's going on, brother? You good, yeah? I don't know if you do it. I'm trying to ditch this so I can chill properly with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me slide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I slide. Trust me, it's long. Right. Like, Where's the pop? Slide. Over there, that road there. We're here, we're here, we're here. Oh, you know, Black Lives Matter, why they call it under the rug, blood. <laughs> huh? Would have been a it's mad thing. Yeah, Imagine if it. that came out when the Black Lives Matter protest was going on. Why well, they would have burnt mm. down Stoke and Police. Where are you? Hey, I'm hearing some crazy, but sanitary. What are you at the station, sir? Because you, like, you got stripped on that period, didn't it? Yeah, bro. Oh, doors then. Obviously, it was female. Female, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's female. female. It? Yeah, we have to be. We have to be. We have to be. Yeah. Near the buses. And the teacher, Miss Rickson. Bare buses. Go to the front of the buses. Wait, you know the name? In between the teacher, Miss Rickson. Yeah. Boy. I don't know, but like right now, I've seen in the comments in it here. Um. Oh, Petty, that's my old school. And red Ted Ted, so I'm assuming these, these people in the comments here, they're getting like just hitting people, students from the school in it. Oh. As in, who allowed this back in 2020? And I saw a few comments saying, No, I've got bare the youngers in the school, they're onto man still. Yeah, so, well, they're right. onto man, reckless, re 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 reckless folk into life on, on BBC, blood. And they, oh, <laughs> speak, he spoke it into life, blood. They call Raspberry, yeah, but they're onto me, but I got like, they call, they call I'm about, they call I'm about 10 of them. That's what I'm saying, they get to you. Then it comes back to us, innit? Yeah, facts. Look, look this is one of them there, blood. What's that? I don't blame you, yeah, yeah. What's that? Okay, one of the uh, youths. The, the, oh, <laughs> okay. the teacher that I think mm. has been sacked. The teacher that allowed that called the feds. Miss Rickson, sacked. she's sacked. sacked. Miss Rickson, yeah, good. That's 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 good. That good. must be good. Good, good. I never knew it was two years ago though. That's a mad thing, boy. Huh? Oh, first I ain't got a range, boy. Big four by four fam. Yeah, it's right there still. Oh there it is. Yeah boy. But stay yeah, tuned, man. stay tuned. What, what are you saying that, though, Kazo? Oh, you got your freestyle yeah. thing coming up soon as well. April the 2nd, yeah. April man. The, big up your thing, big April up your thing. April the 2nd, the Trenches Battle Rap League, innit? Yeah. Me versus Amity going Yeah, what's down. your name though, Kazo? Come on, I go by the name of Reckless Stay Primo, innit? Yeah. I'm Reckless and I stay high key. Cheese! Oh, come on. Hey, hey. The carbon to mussy, the black gun, metaphysics, you know how it goes. Metaphysics, boy. Come we on, get... carbon to mussy, man. So, yeah? Yeah, so April the 2nd, Stretton Project. The Trenches Battle League, Battle Rap League. Yeah, get your tickets. My best. Oh, I, the Easy Herb thing. Well, before Easy Herb thing, still. You know? Oh, yeah, uh, no, yeah, boy. Nah, no, it's good. I want to be prepared for that, man. But I want to be active in the group more, bro. So okay. I'm working this Saturday. Yeah. So next week's like the final Saturday. That's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. I'm there. So Definitely, bro. I made that, I'll do security work in it, like on the door. So I made that yeah. Saturday free. I'm there, man. Yeah, man. And the week after that's the battle. The week after that's my birthday. So make sure you check out his thing. And if not, it's going to be on YouTube, though, isn't it? YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, they do the edits and the battles and that. So probably, so it's on the second. So I'm assuming it won't come out until like that same month, but probably like end of tours, going towards May. May. So, but they've got to edit the videos. There's been trailers. There's been face offs. Um, what do you call it? Um, reviews, etc., etc. So, yeah, stay tapped in. The Trenches Battle Rap League. You heard that? The Trenches Battle stay Rap go, League. Stay go, was it? Huh? Stay, stay go, was it? Promo? Your reckless name, man. Reckless Stay Primo. Stay, stay I'm reckless. Primo. Reckless Stay Primo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stay high key. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Purple Life. What? What's that? 
Yeah. It's not easy. What? It's not easy. easy. Yeah. What the? What the? What is that? I can't even tell you. What is that? It's not easy. Thing is not running. What is that? You can't run. You can't run. That's hard though. Still. It's not hard, isn't it? Herbal life, should it? Boy, Easy's, Easy's gonna just get side of that. I'm waiting Easy's gonna get side to get. That has been there. I want that ant top, bro, that you made from. Are you mad? I'm buying uh, that. This that. one, ant top. The, 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 the one you want, yeah, the dude from. Yeah. I'm buying it, bro. Yeah. You can't buy that. Huh? I made that. I made that. I know, there's a yeah. saving, save, brother, I follow, innit? Yeah. And you similar Woo! the gold stitching. Yeah. With the committed yeah. writing. Yeah. Nice. I'll, buy it from you. I'll buy it from you too. So when you make one, I'm buying money there. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that and and that was a trial and error. But yeah, what before fucking no error. What you saying, you're right. Yeah. Undercover police around, maybe. Definitely some undercover police over here.
Yo, it's just recording, bro. Okay, found the man. Come on, it's got the cheek to be out here tonight. Resign your position. If you care about this community, resign. And I'll tell you another thing. All of the police officers that were involved should be sat. And so should the teachers. If you were there, if you were there when this child was skipped, which is rare, that is complicity. You all need to be sat and you need to resign your position. With some Thank you, man. Thank you. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Public meeting. That's good because this is not their meeting. What's, what's that? Well, they want. The officers need to be disciplined. That's what needs to happen. Thank you. Because I've been here so many times. I was outside for Smiley Culture. I was outside for Mark Duggan. I was outside for Edson. I was outside for Russian. And when I say outside, I don't just mean the protests. I mean every element of being outside. Yeah? And Marcus Garvey said something. He said, if you can't do what other men have done, if you can't do what other nations have done, then you will die. You will die. And me, I've got my problems with police, but it's about us as the community taking accountability and putting the safeguarding in, in place for our children if this is going to change or we're going to be back here in the next six months, family. Yeah. Yes. We're going to be right back here having the same conversation in six months. If, our, if Child Q knew about her rights yeah. regarding the police, right. That's, yeah? That's if she knew to stop and film them and stay calm and ask them their badge number, their name and their station, right. yeah? And that's what the workshop teaches. All of the youth, them, let me hear you make a big sound for the children at this institution where it happened that have been protesting themselves. Let me hear you make a sound. Are you mad? Are you mad? Yeah? They made me so proud. Yeah? They brought a tear to my eye. They made me so proud. They're all sending me the videos of them protesting. Yeah, they shut down their whole school. Yeah, they're doing what needs to be done. Yeah? That's the generation that we need to invest in. So I'm going to give every single one of them the opportunity to get a free police to police global workshop. So each one of them knows what to do in the situation when police approach them about anything. That's the first thing, because we're putting the power in the youth. We're putting the power back in our hands. When we're telling them change their system, the power's in their hands. If they decide to never change, then they're going to abuse us forever. But we have enough power to take away the power from them because knowledge is power. Yeah? Knowledge is power. Yeah? Another thing is, uh, it's our fault because at the end of the day, our youths are killing each other in the streets, right? Our youth, them are killing each other in the streets. So, uh, brother, man, don't talk about white supremacy because of white supremacy and capitalism. Because what you're doing there is you're gonna make it about white supremacy in a hundred years. If, if let me show, you, let me show, let me show you where it is for me. I, like I said, Marcus Garvey said, if you can't do what other men have done, if you can't do what other nations have done, just like what Shomrin done, policing their own communities, they're policing their own communities, bro. So what I'm saying is when we talk about 
police our own crime. Family. We've got further family that polices our own communities. We stop the youth violence in our communities ourselves. I'm telling you, are you listening? Let me let me show let me show you something about the knife crime thing, sis. Yeah? Yeah, 100 percent What I'm saying is when you're talking about knife crime, knife crime is the main justification that they use for section 60. Knife crime is the main justification they use to oppress our children. If we solve that issue, we take away powers from the police when it comes to messing with our children. Yeah? So so what I'm saying is, I'm not talking, are you listening family? We're out here just doing the solutions, you know? We're out here patrolling our own communities. We're not out here talking. We're not out here talking. It's the our generation, our generation. We're not out here talking. It's just actions. And what I'm trying to inspire anyone out here, if you're on actions, if you're on tangible solutions that is going to save the next child queue, if you're on tangible solutions that is going to stop us from being gathered out here to, again, for the family has solutions. Yeah? I, one of the main things I've done is I reached out to child queue's family. So when I'm speaking here, I'm speaking from the perspective of child Q and child Q's uh, mum and child Q's legal team. Yeah, the first thing that we have to remember, and this is what they've asked me to tell every single one of you. I don't know if you don't want to hear from child Q. Do you want to hear from her family? Are you not here to hear from child Q's family? Do you want to care? Do you care about what what what, what their mum and what their legal team is saying? Yeah. So I'm just I'm just here to deliver that message, family. Yeah. Okay, so what they're saying is one, this has made, this has replayed the traumatic experience for our sister. Remember, she's gone through reclusiveness, she's gone through self-harm, she's going through a lot. So the main thing they want everyone to do is protect her privacy, yeah, and her family's privacy, yeah. Child Q's main statement to the people is that she does not want this to happen to another child ever again, yeah, ever. Let me hear you say never again. Let me hear you say never again. Let me hear you say never again. So our solution one is policing the police ourselves, yeah, and teaching our youth the knowledge so that when police come and stop and search them, they are documenting the police and they are speaking to the police in a way where they would never do something like this again. That's the first thing. Uh, um, Child Q has a legal team, two legal teams, one that's taking actions against police and one that's taking actions against the school. Yeah? Within the school, the teacher that um, called the police, she was still there and I've got the reports about half an hour ago that the teacher has now been sacked. The war, the war is far from over because we still need the police officers that, that came and done the strip search sacked as well. We still need them sacked, yeah? The safeguarding officers, yeah? We need it all sacked. But all I want to say to my people is, yeah, I'm coming off now, sis, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? All I want to say to the people is that we can, we have two choices here. We can continue trying to change a devil, which is nature. <laughs> Which remember the oldest police officers, they were slave catchers. They were there to catch property. Yeah. yeah, and the property back then was black people. So they're not doing much different to what they was doing 50, 60 years ago. I do not believe in any 100 years we're gonna change this institution until we change ourselves. Once we empower ourselves with knowledge, once we empower ourselves with collective solidarity, once we empower ourselves just like we are out here right now, making a noise outside the station, that's what's gonna make them stop change their behavior. Yeah, if they done it to child Q and we all stayed quiet and stayed at home today, they would have done it to another child the next week. This is what they fear. But from here, we need to go on to tangible solutions. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Let me hear you say something because it takes a village and we are the village. Yeah, so we say forever, family. Forever. Family. Forever. Family. Forever. Family. forever. Family. I mean, you see us in this security uniform, it's double F force and the force is love. Double F. Force. Double F. Force. Double F. Force. And when you see us put up our fist, it's to represent our power. Fist. Power. Fist. Power. Fist. Power. Peace and blessing to the people then. Yeah. Alright, so just, just a bit of safety information. Because this energy is brilliant. And this fight is important. But as it gets dark, as is what usually happens, the police will try to instigate, they will try to move us on. They will try to break us up. So just be mindful, do not let anyone in one uniform instigate you because there will be people here to instigate you. Don't allow that to happen. We are here, we are here, we are here.
na bawa mpya when it comes to the police the only level of work that we do is either policing the police yeah or teaching the community about our rights with police and dealing with the conflict as a community so you're anti-police I'm, I'm not anti-police but till they change the way they do with the community mm -hmm. then our position will be the same we're not here for no violence we're not here to run no one down but we are going to hold you accountable mm -hmm.